very sexy. Argentinian? No, Spanish or Chilean. Excuse me, ladies. I'm a macho. But let me tell you about the pain of the macho. I met this angler woman at this fancy restaurant. Great music, fine wine. I was looking great in my suit and feeling suave. She was my customer and I was her waiter. Our eyes met and we really hit it off. She was so sexy in that feminine sort of way. She asked me if I want to go back to her place. And I say, <clears throat> sure, I am. Um, I could have worked in an hour. Half an hour? Ten. I quit. I ran after her like a Spanish bull. I quit. We get back to her place and she's all over me, kissing me and touching me. I am filled with passion. She says, say something sex in Spanish or Latin. And I say, okay. Manita rica, gongro, gongro, gongo, go. She goes crazy. She says, Is it true Latins are fantastic lovers? And I say, Yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> she says, Is it true Latin men can make love? All night long. We make love all night long. She has satin sheets. She's shameless and she knows what she's doing. And I want her. I want to conquer her. We make mad, passionate love. And then, the most amazing thing happens. We see the sunrise holding each other like Adam and Eve in the new world. She's not an angler. She's an angel. I am not a Latin lover. I am just her lover. And I want her. I want to marry her. Be part of the Australian dream and watch Big Brother. Well, the next morning I make her breakfast in bed. I want to snuggle up and talk about what happened last night. You talk too much. She says I talk too much and lights up a cigarette. She said that she just wanted to have sex with a macho man and doesn't want to ever see me again. And that's when I felt the pain. Now I know what my mother went through when my father left her. Why she cried for a year. I just want to love. And be loved. So, what is your experience in hospitality exactly? Mm -hmm.